All right, so I, got, I get a lot of grief sometimes from other media outlets. They like to call me a blog. They like to, you know, copy and paste what I write and then not cite me. That's fine. I ain't going to worry about that so much anymore. Uh, proof is in the pudding, people. Proof is when your sources get it right. Uh, and I've got a great network of sources. They know me. They trust me. They know I'll go to jail before I rat them out. So they give me information. Um, and this week, we exclusively reported on a major development in one of the two contested Republican congressional races in South Carolina. I'm talking about the 7th District, which is where incumbent Tom Rice, who's been up there for eight years already, uh, Tom Rice voted to impeach Donald Trump last January. And again, I haven't really criticized him on that. I wasn't there. I can't really say in that moment what I would have done. But Tom Rice voted to impeach Trump in a district that Trump won by nearly 60% of the vote. That's the general election, right? Not the Republican primary. That's the general election. So Tom Rice obviously facing some significant opposition. And this week, Trump came out and endorsed one of his opponents. And he endorsed State Representative Russell Fry, who's a majority whip. That means a guy who rallies votes in the South Carolina House of Representatives. Russell Fry, one of several announced challengers to Tom Rice, is now the challenger of choice for President Donald Trump. Now that was first reported on our news outlet and came to pass about two hours after we reported on it, as a matter of fact. Now, there's another contested congressional race in South Carolina, and we touched on this during our last week in review. Now this one's gonna be really exciting because this one involves two politicians who just don't like each other at all, at all. And I'm talking about current Congresswoman Nancy Mace, who's a former state representative, and Katie Arrington, who's a former state representative, served with Nancy Mace, at the State House, uh, who went on to a decorated career at the U.S. Department of Defense under the Trump administration. Now, Arrington ran for Congress back in 2018, and she was narrowly defeated by Democrat Joe Cunningham, who is now running for governor of South Carolina, sort of. Hasn't raised much money or really done anything of note, but he's running. So Arrington announced this week that she's considering campaigning against Mace, and we are told that Trump will be endorsing her in the event she decides to run, which would be a major development down there in the first congressional district. Because again, Nancy Mace, in the aftermath of the January 6th rioting at the U.S. Capitol, she was very critical of Donald Trump, basically said that his legacy had been wiped out uh, in the aftermath of those riots. And so Trump, not a fan of hers. And in fact, last November, called on a challenger to come out against her, to run against her in the first congressional district. So again, it'll be very interesting to see uh, if Katie Arrington has indeed answered that call. Our sources say that she has. And after that, it'll be very interesting to see whether the president, former President Trump endorses her in that campaign against Nancy Mace. But two major uh, congressional races in South Carolina that Donald Trump, uh, one, one he's already involved in, one we're hearing he's going to get involved in, and this matters. This matters because, again, Trump may run for president again in 20, 2024. And if he does that, he's got to come through South Carolina, which holds the first in the South presidential primary. And so how well Trump's candidates perform in the 2022 election could have a significant impact on how well Trump himself performs when he comes before South Carolina voters in three years, again, if he runs. So let's keep an eye on those races. Uh, count on Fitz News for the very latest political news. And more on that in a moment.